Himmelbjerg. Now, if y'all watch Thor, like Avengers Thor, y'all know Heimdall. This was cool. In Old Norse mytholo mythology, Himmelbjerg is the place beside the rainbow by frost. Remember he said this in the movie, y'all. Hey guys, it's your girl Kirsten Sophia. Nice to see ya. I'm gonna make that a thing. So today is what, the fourth day. Today is Thursday and I came to my grandparents' house Sunday, so that's Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, so it's the fourth day and today we are going to another city. We're going to Himmelbjerg. So it's a hill and they keep saying like, they keep saying like, don't get excited and expect like this big mountain. It's a hill and it's 148 meters, which I think is like 400 and something feet high. So that's interesting. Today's weather is very windy. I don't think you could tell right now because ain't no wind coming through, but um, it's very cold. So we have to have some jackets and scarves on. Today I'm actually gonna see Makio. I saw him real quick. I think it was Tuesday, like 10 minutes because I had to stop with the train in our town for like 10 minutes and he stopped just to see me. But he's coming over, so I haven't seen him like for a long time. I actually have a surprise for him because y'all know I got some home slippers. So I actually got him some. These are his, I have them on trying to like make sure they feel worn. I mean, that sounds bad, but like they were all mashed. So I'm trying to make them look presentable. Um, so then he has some home slippers. I'm gonna surprise him with that because it's the little things, you know. So today is gonna be exciting, guys, because like with Corona, you can't really do much, you know? So I haven't been here, so I'm actually excited. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, I probably forgot to mention, I'm going with my aunts, my grandparents, obviously, and Kyo is not coming because he's writing a project, so that's why he's coming for dinner. So it's gonna be us for today. Famo has packed some lunch. She's made some sandwiches. Um, cake or whatever. Um, I heard it's gonna be like a nice view up there, so I'm really excited. we made it here is the map it's Himmelbjerg my fam's going right there <laughs> y'all are so cold <laughs> look at my jacket this is a wind jacket everybody has like thick jackets it's so cold it's already winter <laughs> I'm gonna thug it out. <laughs> so guys, this is the tower. We are at the top already. So not as tall as I expected it to be. But I'm gonna show you all the view. That helped.
Natasha. How much fixing me? Because I'm cold. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was it, guys. It's more of like a tourist attraction. It's like a tower, and you get like a good view. So you notice know, like the grand, a grand thing. Like, but it's nice. It's a nice view. So if you ever visit Denmark, you should try it out. So I told my grandfather, I was like, it took like an hour for us to come out. I was not focusing. I was telling my grandfather it took an hour to come out here and it took just five minutes to see the tower. <laughs> now we're headed back to get like some lunch. It's the next day guys and I look a little rusty but it's dinner time and it's actually the final day, the final night. So I made a Mexican dinner for my grandparents with tortillas and all kind of vegetables and ground beef and it's halloween y'all so yeah i decided to go back a day early because today is friday tomorrow is saturday um i was supposed to go back home on sunday but because my grandparents wi-fi is trash <laughs> so i'm going home early y'all and i'm actually excited yeah this vlog probably wasn't that um long because like i really thought like they were right when it was like don't think it's like something big like literally as soon as we parked the car we walked for like two minutes and we were already up on the hill i was like oh i really thought we was going like around until we like reached the top but um it was a nice view um my tip would be like because it's close to silkebor which is a town in denmark you can take like this old um steamer boat i think it's called and you can take it and then walk up the hill which will take way more time than what we did because we drove there but fun fact y'all i forgot to say this himmel Biao. now if y'all watch thor like avengers thor y'all know heimdall who actually made the hammers for him this was cool in old norse mytholo mythology Himmelbjell is the place beside the rainbow by Frost. Remember he said this in the movie, y'all. Where Heimdall, the guardian of the gods, lived. By Frost connected Asgard of the gods to Midgard of the people. Y'all, that is, that is actually really cool. When I was reading, I was like, oh my gosh, that's Thor. <laughs> but I actually love stuff like this. I actually love mythology. Min not methodology it says mythology sorry i'm bilingual y'all but anyways that's the end of this vlog i know i was gonna say there was more but actually it was just pretty chill so it was very personal i was just trying to get as much quality time as i possibly can with my grandparents because i really enjoyed it i actually really missed them a lot um so it was really nice to be back here and fall into the old habits i used to have when i used to live here so this is the end of the vlog guys i hope you guys enjoyed and don't worry i will be back with another video so make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe and whilst you're here turn on y'all post notifications so y'all are notified every time i drop a video <laughs> but anyways guys bye please open it guys i knew it how you know? <laughs> That's so sweet. Cause you, I told you, you told me about it. Yeah, now but they're not exactly match. the same. Oh, they aren't. Like mine has the oh, white the white thing. ring. Thingy. Now we can match. Try one. These would look so good without onesies. And you can only wear them inside. inside. Yeah, I know. Cause no, cause you I like to them put them outside. You, I mean, you like to wear them and put, go outside. Try one. Where do you get these from? H and M. You don't really say if you bought a gift. Oh, sorry. Hope they could fit. Yeah. It was hard to find because it's such a big size. That actually fit perfect. Are they comfortable? Yes. I tried to walk them, them so they could, because it was all mash. They look nice. These would look so good without onesies. And it's perfect. Was it onesies. a good gift? Yeah, thanks for it. I appreciate Mikiwa it. Mikiwa approved? Yes, it okay. is. These are <laughs> mad comfortable though. Did your grandparents get some too? No. So it's just up? Thank you approved. <laughs>